Things unfortunately are worse inside the airport where dozens of flights tonight are delayed because of the major meltdown that forced the FAA to ground planes nationwide for hours. A critical system went down. It was a safety system and the FAA ordered the first nationwide ground stop since 9-11. There are more than 9,000 flights that have been delayed coast to coast and nearly a thousand flights have been canceled. WBZ's Jordan Jagalinzer is at Logan with what you can do if if your trip was disrupted. Nearly 400 flights were either delayed or canceled here at Logan International Airport today. And because of the nature of this incident, we spoke to an aviation expert who says it's unlikely passengers will be reimbursed for the travel headache. The compensation will be limited. Planes are back in the air tonight after all flights were grounded in the U.S. just after 7 this morning. The last time that occurred was actually 9-11. And that occurred, that lasted for three days. This ground stop lasted for three hours. Impacting travelers like Kevin Michelon, who rented a car from Maine, hoping to have better luck getting a new flight at Logan to get home to Missouri. Flights up there got canceled or delayed. We, we changed, pivoted to here. I booked a flight here on Southwest, but it's delayed. I booked it the second I booked it, it was delayed four hours. But aviation expert David Daig says it's unlikely passengers will be reimbursed for expenses like new flights, rental cars, or meals. And most of the people that have been impacted will probably get accommodated today. The cause, an overnight outage at the Federal Aviation Administration, and it's notice to air mission system. Aviation expert David Daig saying it's essential for flight safety. Say Air Force One will be in town or some other sporting event where they will close their space. The, uh, the pilots will need to create their flight plan in and around that restriction. The cause of the malfunction unknown at this time. It hadn't, had, hasn't been down previously before, so this is unprecedented. Travelers at WBZ spoke with feel lucky their flights at least took off. They kept pushing it back and pushing it back. I was just hoping that they wouldn't cancel it. I want it to go like faster, but I wasn't that annoyed because I didn't have school. White House Press Secretary Karin Jean-Pierre tweeting, quote, the president has been briefed by the Secretary of Transportation this morning on the FAA system outage. There is no evidence of a cyber attack at this point, but the president directed DOT to conduct a full investigation into the causes. The cause of the problem is still being looked into tonight. Daig says it could be days before the FAA figures out exactly what happened. In Boston, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News. All right, Jordan, thank you. I want to show you the so-called misery map from FlightAware. It tracks delays at major airports. Green is good, red is bad. The green is what we saw before the meltdown, but then you'll see things turning red over time, and they stay that way. Throughout the day, the red does not go away, so nothing but bad news right now for flyers, and they've gone through a lot over the past couple of months. Lisa? Yeah.